shit, it has gotten far worse for how bad Concord is going to be on PlayStation and the absolute failure of a game that it was. When it first came out, people were not expecting it to be as huge as I think PlayStation wanted it to be, but to fail as bad as it did being shut down, I think it was like six days later, something along those lines is something that I don't think anybody at PlayStation did expect. And now we have some more information that is making this, I think, a lot worse than people had thought in terms of the monetary value. Now, before we get into it, if you do enjoy daily gaming news and content, hit the like, subscribe, share the video, and check out my Spotify. Link is in the description. So again, Concord, uh, probably the biggest flop in gaming history, at least from a monetary standpoint that I can think of from the top of my head, or it's up there for sure. And just even if you take out the monetary side of things, the length of time that it was out for this is supposed to be a multiplayer game as a service game that was supposed to bring PlayStation in to that genre, which is something they haven't had for a while. It's up there as one of the biggest failures in gaming history. There's some more news here. And it's getting worse for Concord and for PlayStation. So the future, as we know, is unclear with the game. They said that they could be bringing it back at some point, whether that would be a free-to-play experience or something. We do not know. But the director of Concord, Ryan Ellis, has reportedly stepped down from his role at Firewalk Studios to move over to a support one. Well, the studio's future remains unclear. I mean, of course, when you are the director and you release that huge flop. There's probably very hard for you to stay in that position, which is why they are moving him or he is stepping down. Of course, it says according to a report from Kotaku, Sony has not come to a decision on how it will continue with Concord yet. However, the developers within Firewalk are reportedly pessimistic that the game will come back after it was taken offline earlier this month. I'm going to make a bold prediction here and say that Concord's done. There's no way that they are bringing it back because of the amount of money that they did lose on this project. So we will get into that because this is where I think it gets just absolutely insane and far worse than what people had thought far worse than what I had thought. I was thinking maybe 150, maybe $200 million it cost them to create. And that's still terrible to lose that because they refunded all the purchases. They made $0 on the game itself. They lost everything on Concord. There wasn't any revenue here to be made from the game. So I was thinking 150, 200 million loss. Terrible, but it seems it is far worse than that. Reportedly costing $400 million to develop. And on top of that, that doesn't include the purchase price of Firewalk, which as we know, Sony recently had purchased them a few years ago. And then this was their game that they were they thought was going to take over as a games as a service as a multiplayer game this comes via colin moriarty it's a nine minute clip i highly suggest going to listen to everything he does talk about in that clip because there is a lot but i'll try to summarize it for you basically he has a source he says it's a very good source he's vetted it in and he wouldn't be talking about this unless he was sure that the source was good and the amount of money that they lost and he was even way off on this was $400 million to create Concord, which makes it PlayStation's most expensive game to date, more than Spider-Man. Think about the Spider-Man IP that they have to pay to get and just the scope of that game as well. Concord is bigger than that. Now, what led to this loss? And there's a lot of things here that I think you could come and have uh, many different discussions as to what is going on with the industry. But one of the things he does mention is toxic positivity in the studio where there was absolutely no allowance for pushback in what they were doing. Nobody to be able to go out there and say, hey, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. We need to fix this, this and this or this game is going to fail. The tweet here says, I spoke extensively with someone who worked on Concord and it's so much worse than you think. It was internally referred to as the future of PlayStation, the Star Wars-like potential, and a dev culture of toxic positivity halted any negative feedback, making it cost $400 million. And when they say with the Star Wars-like potential, he mentions this in the in the video itself, that they were hoping that Concord was going to be that IP, that game that kind of took over the entire universe. Not just the game. Not just the game. I mean, we saw the trailers of it where it looked like they were making some sort of cinematic universe with the characters. And I think they were planning on extending that out and having little clips and having little videos where you get a deeper dive into each character, kind of an overwatch style of thing. We've seen that with the, what they did with their characters over there. 
And we saw it's in that, I think, Amazon Prime show. I forget what it is called, but it is featured in that. So they were hoping Concord was going to come in here for PlayStation and take over the world and take over as one of the main games people think about when it comes to PlayStation. Obviously, that is not the case. And the other thing he does mention here, which I find very interesting, is that Herman Hulst is the guy, it was his baby. This He was the guy behind this thing that really pushed this thing forward. And as we know with Herman Hulse, before he has this $400 million, maybe even more than that, whatever the cost it was to purchase Firewalk, it is more than that. It's a couple hundred million dollars more. He, before this swap happens, he got a promotion to the head of PlayStation Studios. So this is his first performance and it's an abysmal failure. There's many other things that I think played in to the failure of Concord, you have the whole discussion about the the character designs. And uh, yes, I agree. Those were some of the worst character designs I think I've ever seen within video games. I don't know how half of those got greenlit. I don't know how anybody would have looked at those and said, yeah, this is what gamers want. And that kind of goes back to what Colin was saying here about the toxic positivity. There's probably a lot of people who are working on this game that just weren't allowed to speak up and, and say, hey, this sucks. Like these designs suck. We need to redo them before the game does release he also mentions things about how the game was in a terrible state before playstation did come in and and, and purchase it and take over when they purchased this firewalk and they had concord as one of the games it was not in a good state so there is a lot of stuff here but concord is going to be one of those things that we are going to learn a lot about and just I think how bad it was internally from the studio itself, the people working there who just did not foster an environment to be able to create something and have some pushback and what was good and what was bad. And you absolutely need that. There is that whole thing about toxic positivity in video games where you have to be able to criticize things. I think there's two ends of the spectrum when it comes to the fan bases of video games, when it comes to YouTubers and content creators there is the one side that just everything is bad they they hate everything and they they foster a community of people who just hate everything then there's the other side who love everything and they foster a community of people who love everything and then there's more people that are centered and kind of look at everything on a case-by-case basis and then try to provide some constructive feedback as to what they think is good and what they think is bad and that's obviously what needed here with conquer because i played the beta and i'll be completely honest with you the gameplay mechanics weren't bad. Like there was some good stuff within that game that I can definitely see could have been something that people would have liked to have played in and grown with as a community. The launch just wasn't there. The way that they presented this game was terrible. Again, the character designs, which for me, I don't character designs are bad, but I don't play video games to necessarily connect with a player or character in that game. I'm playing it to relax as leisure as a pastime i don't really even sometimes think about the way that the character looks especially in a first person game but i can definitely see why people were so upset with those character designs they were just abysmal in in what they were doing there so it's it's just worse than i thought it was and i just really wanted to make a video talking about that 400 million dollars to develop and this is herman holst's baby this is his, like one of his first releases since he did get his promotion you have to ask yourself I wonder what PlayStation is thinking at this point and where are they going to go from here? You take a look at what they have been doing and, and what we're seeing from their first party studios. It's remasters. It's basically what it is. And we got Astro Bot, which was new, which was a nice smaller game, a phenomenal game from everything that has come out about it. And I would hope because that game is successful and sells well that they focus more on making fun gameplay games like that rather than just remastering every right people were hearing rumors about the horizon remaster days gone remaster we've seen all the last of us stuff and if they lost 400 million plus dollars on this project they're gonna have to recoup their costs which to me signals remasters being very conservatives in the game that they do put out ones that will guarantee them to make a good amount of revenue so they can start recouping their costs before moving on to more risky projects because concord was risky absolutely failed and here we are we will see what PlayStation has for us in 2025. But I will end the video there. If you did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up. If you are new, hit that subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.